If enough people believe that something is real, then it is real in its, in its effects. In terms of in its the, social reality. In terms of the social reality, in terms of what people act according to mm -hmm. their beliefs. Yeah. And uh, that opens a question of, really at two levels, uh, perhaps something that we are creating ourselves, perhaps a, a series of images that we are projecting. I think Carl Jung came very close to, to expressing that idea in, in one of his books. Or could it be manipulated purposely by people who have the technology to uh, simulate UFO sightings? And mm -hmm. people say, well, of course not. Who would do a thing like that? Well, I would remind you that during, Watergate, during the Watergate investigation, it was discovered that there was a plan uh, originated in the White House to uh, surface a submarine off the coast of Cuba and paint the second coming of Christ over the island of Cuba using holograms. Oh, and, yeah. <laughs> which is well within our technology today. The idea was that since there is a large Catholic population in Cuba, uh -huh. they would be so upset by this vision that this would saturate the communication channels, you know, the telephone system in Cuba, long enough for an invasion to take place. How interesting. I never heard of that. Well, I think that's uh, you know, a classic in psychological warfare, but mm -hmm. that kind of uh, manipulation is, mm -hmm. is well understood. and. I have personally investigated several apparently you know, genuine UFO cases where there was in fact a manipulation. My, my conclusion, the conclusion of scientists working with me, was that there was in fact a manipulation taking place and that it was not a hoax on the part of the witnesses but a hoax on the part of somebody much better organized than them. So there are possibly all of these levels going on simultaneously. today. The, T today, with the current technology, that would be possible.